David Polycart demonstrates effective peer assessment and questioning as he focuses the learning of his Year 8 English class on specific linguistic devices used by Dickens. After the clip, AST Sophie Hallecker analyzes David's approach. Dickens was famous for the brilliant readings he gave in Britain and America. To prepare for a reading, he would mark the pages with prompts to himself. Using these words here, think how you would actually perform what you have written. The scene in front of me now become blurred. Mr. Pumblechook waddled behind me, snorting my name. Pip, boy, come here. Lovely. Thank you very much, Jessica. Um, comments, please, about <laughs> Jessica. What do you know about uh, some of the techniques that Jessica used when she was reading out then? When, when she said, come here, she went, come here, yo. She right. certainly she made her voice sound aggressively. And also, she, come here, I would say, Come here to you. I say, come here. Yeah. So, so what, what, what linguistic device was she also using? Uh, she was speaking phonetically. She was speaking phonetically as well. So she's done so many devices there. What I'd like you to do now is just to fill in this little uh, task about how much you've learned and what you've learned. I really like this, uh, th this section of the lesson here with what David's doing um, with the assessment. Um, as you can see, he's already given them something to be, to be thinking about and to be focusing on while they're assessing each other. Think how you would actually perform what you have written. Um, so there's this fantastic performance from this student here um, in a very fun kind of atmosphere, but at the same time quite serious because they're assessing the student as she goes along. So while um, David manages to bring the fun elements for this year eight class out in um, Great Expectations, he's also getting them to be really serious with their assessment and really to think about um, what it is that this student did well. What do you know about uh, some of the techniques that Jessica used when she was reading out then? Well, and he actually asks the students first to comment on it before he makes any comment, um, which I think is really nice. He really gets, he really values the students' comments and the assessments that they make. When, when she said, come here, she went, come here! You see the, the teacher actually questioning the, the student there and probing for, um, for certain information. Yeah. yeah. So, so what, what, what linguistic device was she also using? Uh, she was speaking phonetically. She was speaking. He really gets the student to think a bit deeper. So the student makes a first response and then the teacher actually probes a bit deeper and gets the student to link that back to the prior learning. I think the difficult thing about assessment is that you have to, as a teacher, really be confident to pull out the different strands that you're trying to assess. So if you overcomplicate it, your students are not going to get it and they won't be able to assess each other but it's about like you saw here he really Jessica. pulled out the different elements that he wanted the students um, to be able to comments, assess the most challenging part as the teacher is stripping it down to what actually am i looking for in the students and what will success look like and how will they assess that in each other